Meanwhile, President of the Jamaica Track and Field Coaches Association, David Riley, believes that track and field holds the key to the resumption of other sporting disciplines on the island. Renato Brown reports. David Riley, who is head coach of the Excelsior High School track and field team, believes other sporting disciplines should be concerned about the lack of activity in local track and field. Speaking with TVJ Sports, Riley pointed to the success of Jamaica in track and field as one of the reasons the government should be pushing for the return of sports, especially with the Olympic Games set for this summer in Tokyo. We can't get track and field in Jamaica to, to start as number three in the world. And I don't say, you know, consciously, we're number three in the world in track and field. We have to find a way as the number three in the world to get our sport going. Um, if we can't do it, then it's going to be um, very difficult for anybody else to. And um, we just need to make sure we give all the effort to doing that and doing it safely. And it can be done safely because the rest of the world is doing it safely. Riley also noted that public opinion should not be used to determine whether sports returns or not. And I think part of it is ignorance on the part of some of the people. I'm not saying necessarily authorities are ignorant. I'm saying the general population is not necessarily informed about the sport and ab about what is proposed. So polling the, the, the general population as to whether to have it resume or not would be a moot point because they don't have the details of what is proposed. But track and field and many other, other sports that are non-contact, there's no reason why they shouldn't be happening now. And the coach who guided Wilmer's boys to the 2010 champs title believes there is no legitimate reason why track and field cannot return locally. I think if, if people are familiar with, with the, the details and, and the effort that goes into making the environment safe, they'll realize that, that an individual who goes to a track and field competition is not exposed more than the person going to school or going to the supermarket or going to church. It's, it's even a lower, lower level of exposure or risk. Bernardo Brown for TVJ Sports.